What's up guys, this is Will, Will's Gadgets More back with another video. So today we're taking a look at a pair of earbuds and these were sent out to me by this company right here. I can't pronounce that, but I do want to give them a huge shout out for sending these over for a review. Now you can pick these up on Amazon.com, the price is going to be $34.99. If you go over and get them right now, you can save an extra 30% with the coupon that they have on there as well. So these are the Do Smart Earbuds S1 and some of the features and details on these. Uh, these have uh, Hi-Fi 13 millimeter dynamic drivers. Uh, the Kodak is going to be AAC and SBC. These are going to charge with the Type-C charging case. You're going to get about four hours of battery use out of single bud and a total of 16 uh, hours with the case included. These feature Bluetooth 5.0 for low latency and enjoy a better gaming experience. And these have what they call voice note uh, that can record words without missing any information. These also feature high noise cancellation. ENC noise reduction function makes calls clearer and communication more efficient. These are also IPX4 uh, waterproof for splash and sweat. Now the weight on these is going to be 3.7 grams uh, per earbud. So I will drop the link in the description if you guys want to go over and read some more about these. Here's the packaging that it comes in. You guys see? Smart, uh, do smart buds, and that's that name, that, that word that I can't pr uh, pronounce there. On the, this side, you're going to have uh, long battery life, voice notes, Bluetooth 5.0, high sound quality, comfort fit, and then they do have an app that you can use along with this as well. So let's go ahead and get the back chain open and check it out and see what's in it. All right, guys, so unboxing knife on deck. Let's see what we got in here. So I've never tried this brand before, but we're going to check them out and see how they perform. Now, I'm not an audiophile, so this will be coming from someone who just like to... Uh, experiment with different tech so let's go ahead and get this let me go ahead and get this open all right so first thing in the packaging you're going to have your quick start guide that's going to give you all the information that you need to know about the earbuds next we're going to have our safety instructions also and also in the packaging you're going to have your charging cable, which is going to be Type-C to USB-A, which is a good look. And then also you got your earbuds here. And that is it in the packaging. So here it is. A very small, compact case here. Very clean. You have their branding on there, and that is it. Here's your Type-C. It look like you do have a... Uh, indicator charging indicator there a power indicator and then opening them up uh, here they are this is the inside of the case very clean very clean looking and let's take one of them out and here it is kind of similar to the airpod but not exactly just the part that goes in your ear the stem is a little different get that tape off there so you do have some uh, pins here. I'm assuming those for charging. Look like you got a mic hole. This is Mark right, And then you have another mic up here. And then here's your earpiece. So I'm going to do a little size comparison with the Air, uh, AirPods too. So these are definitely magnetized so they will not fall out. That I always like to see that. Let's get the other one out. And here's the inside of the case. Very clean. Uh, very compact as well. So uh, here's the left one. It's going to be marked the same way. Uh, letting you know that this is the left ear. And here they are together. So very nice looking pair of earbuds. So we're going to go ahead. And uh, you do have an indicator on the outside of it there. As you guys see, it's in the pairing mode. Look like just one of them has that on there. So we're going to go ahead and get the app downloaded. And then we will set these up and try them out. All right, guys, so we're back in. Quick size comparison with the AirPods 2. You guys see the AirPods case is a whole lot more glossy. This is more flat. 
Uh, the size comparison is pretty pretty good, close to equal in size. You guys see? So this is, you know, just to give you an idea of how big the case is uh, that you're gonna be carrying around. So not very big, very pocketable. There it is, and then uh, as far as the earbuds, here they are. Now the AirPod stem is gonna be longer, as you guys see, and it's not gonna be as thick, but the piece that goes in your ear uh, pretty much the same size. So this is what you're gonna get. So uh, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Just wanted you guys to get an idea of just the size of these. And uh, I have already connected the app, downloaded the app, and uh, paired these with my iPhone. So uh, you can get this app in the Play Store and also the Apple uh, store as well so app store so here's the app right here and once you once you get into the app it's pretty basic uh it's not a big it doesn't have a lot of things in it up here you're going to see uh, which pair of earbuds you have over here is where you can uh, log in if you create an account uh, users agreement privacy arrangement and about and you can also sign out you're going to be able to see the battery percentage on each of the earbuds and then in here uh, you can assign what you want each one to do you want the voice assistant last song next song or pause and play and your right earbuds you can do the same thing choose what you want it to do when you touch it uh, you can also look for your firmware update user's guide common problems and serial numbers so uh, that is the app. Like I said, very simple. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try these out a little while. And I'll come back and let you know what I think about them from a non-audio file point of view. All right, guys, so we're back in. One thing I forgot to mention about the uh, earbuds is the voice note section of the app. So with this part of it, you can go in and create your voice note. Uh, you can use the phone uh microphones or you can use the the, ear, the headphones and I create a few samples right here I'll throw in uh, some b-roll here to let you guys hear how they sound but we're going to go ahead and use them right now and I'll let you see how accurate it is so we're going to use the headphones so this is a test of the headphones to see how accurate they are This is a test of the headphones to see how accurate they are as I speak. So there it is, guys. I'm going to go ahead and play this back and let you guys hear how it, hear, how it sounds coming through the headphones. So this is a test of the headphones to see how accurate they are. This is a test of the headphones to see how accurate they are as I speak. So there it is. Guys. So let's get into uh, actually using these. Uh, the headphones, as far as comfort and fit, they fit very well in my ears. They were very comfortable. They didn't uh, cause any dis discomfort. Uh, basically shaped just like the AirPods, and I have no issue with the AirPods. Now you're gonna, not going to get a... Uh, complete seal with this type of uh, earbud so uh, you're going to have a lot of outside noise coming in uh, as far as listening at music I listen at a couple of different genres with this uh, you're going to get a lot of highs and, and mids uh, but basically not very much bass uh, because they're just not sealing off your ears like that uh, but they, they, they sound good to, you know they sound good enough to listen at music on the go or off taking a walk or something like that and you need to be aware of where you're walking around. So uh, as far as uh, watching something like movies and videos and things, I watch some YouTube videos. Uh, there's no latency at all on there. Uh, feel pretty good. And like I said, these are very light in the ear. No latency at all. And the touch controls were great on here. I did make some phone calls. And uh, I could hear everyone well, but they knew that I was talking on, not using the, the phone's 
microphone. I did hook these up to my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra as well because I don't have a uh, SIM card in my iPhone. So that's where I made the uh, phone calls. Now the touch controls, we'll go over the touch controls here. And uh, they're, they're not too bad. Uh, I got one set up for the voice assistant and the other one is for like pause and play. And that's one thing about these, you're not going to get the high-end features that you get on a lot of the other uh, earbuds because, you know, you're just not going to get that with these. So I'm going to go ahead and play one of my videos here and um, let you guys see the touch. Now, the touch controls are not bad. They, they work pretty good. Uh, I got this one for pause and play, the left one. So let's go ahead and see, get out of this commercial here. And I'm going to go ahead and double tap it. That should pause the, the video. As you guys see, the video is playing there. So double tapping on it pauses it. Double tapping again. So that's all you can get on there. You can't control your volume or anything like that. So that works well. Now, with a complete lot of that, I'm going to go ahead and use the voice assistant. Now, these are not in my ear. So what's the weather outside? And there it is, it brings up the weather. So uh, the touch features work great on these. Uh, very comfortable in the ears if you like this style of bud. Uh, I can't say anything about battery life, I only use them for a few hours. Uh, taking phone calls, I could hear everybody, but uh, they said, said I sound okay, not the greatest uh, on their end. As far as listening to music and stuff, you're gonna get a lot of highs and mids, not very much bass and watching uh, videos and things like that no latency at all and the voice note feature uh, I didn't have the greatest luck with that at all it was uh, kind of accurate but uh, playing it back was not the greatest so uh, I will drop the link in the description if you guys want to pick these up I would say these would be great for uh, youngsters someone that don't need all the features that you get with some of the more premium earbuds and uh, just a pair that you can put in, have in your car to go out to the park, take a walk or something like that. But I'll drop the link in the description if you guys want to pick this up. I'm Will. This is Will's Gadgets and More. I'm out.